Why do we have laws? Uh, we have laws because without laws we'd be lawless. And if we were lawless, people would do what they wanted to do and what they chose to do, uh, which would normally not be following the Judeo-Christian precept of do unto others. Uh, they would do unto others what they thought they could get away with very frequently. Uh, and beneficence uh, is a fine characteristic, uh, but it's not to be found uh, in a large majority of people. Uh, and we find that normative rules backed up by sanctions are needed in order to persuade people not to do certain things. Mind you, the whole theory of deterrence uh, uh, in terms of punishment, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, is wrong. It doesn't work for most cases. In most cases, uh, courts pay it the kind of uh, weight in principle that they have to give it because the law says so, that deterrence is a very important thing. But in practice, uh, I don't think I've ever come across any person who was charged, say, with a murder, who thought, my God, I'm going to spend the rest of my life in jail if I do this, because murder is not usually done that way. Uh, there was one case recently where uh, it was the only case I've heard of where someone got sentenced for murder, a young person who actually looked up <coughs> the sentencing for murder and what he might get if he did it. It's the only case I could imagine where had he known that, for example, he was going to go away for life, he might have rethought it. But it was very much a crime of passion and I doubt that that would have governed his conduct. Generally speaking, uh, people who commit crimes are counting on getting away with them and they don't tote up the notion of time they'll serve if they get caught and convicted.